Good morning, everyone. My name is Beth, and I've brought you another Bible object lesson for today. Now, one thing you may not know about me is I absolutely love to travel. I like to drive in the car. In fact, every year, our family drives all the way to Sanibel, Florida, and it's about a 23 to 24 hour drive in the car, and I love every minute of it. I like to fly in the plane, and I've even gone on a huge boat across the ocean for a week just for a special trip to visit different places. So today, we're gonna take a trip together and we're gonna go to a very special place. Now, my favorite place to go to is the ocean. And my family would agree. We go to the ocean every single, every single year. Like I said, we go to Sanibel. And when we're there, we like to swim and make sand castles. We fish, we go on the boat, and we enjoy sunsets over the water. And of course, we eat a lot of seafood. But the trip that you and I are gonna take today is somewhere even more special than the ocean. We are going to try to get to heaven. Now, I know that I can't just hop in my car and drive to heaven. So instead, what I did was I brought this piece of paper to help out with our illustration today. And we're gonna make a few different vehicles and try to travel to heaven. All right, now before we leave, the place that we start off with, or the place we start off at, sorry, is home. So first thing I'm gonna do is when I fold this paper, and I'll hold it up in one second so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna make a house. So this is our starting point from home. Now, I think that what I'd like to do is I'm gonna try to take a boat to heaven first. So I'm going to leave home. And I'm going to take a boat. Now, use your imagination here. We're going to pretend like this is a boat that sails across the ocean. Now, when I practice this trick at home for my kids, I ask them, can we sail a boat across the ocean and get to heaven? And they both yelled, no, of course not. We can't sell a boat to heaven. We can't sail on a boat to get to heaven. So you know what? I'm gonna get rid of the boat and I'm gonna turn it into another vehicle. I think this time I'd like to go a little higher than the ocean and I'm going to turn it into an airplane. Planes can go so high in the sky and they're so fast. So as we're traveling through the sky, I know heaven is high. Can we get to heaven? Well, of course, if my kids were here, they'd be yelling, no, we can't get to heaven in a plane, right? So you know what? A plane may not work. Hmm. Is there something that will go higher than a plane? A rocket ship. I'm gonna turn this one into a rocket ship. That's gotta get us to heaven, right? So this time, instead of folding it, I'm just gonna tear it a little bit. All right, let's see. Like I said, use your imagination. We're gonna take a rocket ship to heaven. Wait a second. Can a rocket ship get to heaven? No, it can get to outer space. We can see Earth, we can see the moon, but we can't get to heaven in a rocket ship, you guys. You know, I can only think of one way that we can get to heaven. We don't really have to travel all over trying to find all of these different ways. The Bible was very, very clear. No matter what we try, the one way to get to heaven is... through Jesus. You know, Good Friday is coming up soon. And on that day, we take time to remember that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. 
He took our sins upon himself because he loved us so much. He wanted us each and every single one of us to have a way to get to heaven, and that way is through him. And all we have to do is believe in him. You know, on Easter, we celebrate that Jesus didn't stay dead on that cross. He rose again from the grave, and he's alive. And right now, he is waiting for you and I in heaven to join him. And all we have to do is believe. It's his free gift to us. The Bible tells us in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. And again, Jesus is in heaven waiting for us to join him. And you know what? That's the best place to be. And I cannot wait to one day join him in heaven. All right, guys. I will see you next time. Have a great week. Bye.